Welcome to a Fandi Yacoub show. This special mini-series titled The Artistic Revolution is brought to you by Muskashi Films. Each episode is the unique story of a music instrument surviving or being caught and destroyed during the 1980s and 90s of civil war in Afghanistan. Welcome to a Fandi Yacoub show, season one, episode three. Today, our special guest is Mohammed Omar, the inspiring piano professor in Kabul University during 1980s. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Where did you study music, Mr. Omar? I studied music in uh, Venice for 10 years in 1970s, then decided to go back home to Kabul. They offered me a job as the piano professor in 1981, and I taught uh, piano in Kabul University for the next 10 years. The greatest 10 years of my life. Hmm. Why are those 10 years the greatest comparing to the beautiful Venice where you spend your youth studying music? Because uh, I enjoyed it the company of all kinds of students from different cities in Afghanistan. And their reaction to learning music was fresh and they appreciated my work in a very different way. Why did you stop? What happened? I had to uh, escape the country after the communist government was overthrown by radical religious extremists. There was no more middle class or any institution functioning properly at least. Then later under the uh, Taliban, all music was banned and anyone playing music was to be arrested and persecuted. What happened to your students and the university instruments? I lost touch with uh, most of my dear students after the uh, collapse during the civil war. Everyone was attempting to escape their families. But uh, there was this grand piano I had kept worrying about and wondering of a way to save it. Why was this grand piano so special to you? Well, you see, it had become a part of my soul after playing it and teaching my students for 10 years. So what happened to the piano after you left the country? What happened to the piano after I left was that uh, I had put it in hands of a special student of mine who had a unique respect for the instrument, as though the uh, piano had a soul of its own. Who was this special student of yours? Her name was uh, Medina. She was a... Uh, 18-year-old girl from some faraway village who had never seen a piano before. Her soft fingers could not stop playing ever since she laid eyes on the grand piano. So how did she manage to keep the piano hidden from the Taliban? I had sent a, a courier with some money to Medina's family to assist them in, in uh, keeping the piano hidden somewhere safe. How long did she manage to keep it safe and secret? They kept it for uh, safe for years and uh, she played it for her family sometimes and they invited some of her friends. They all sat around after supper and listened to Medina playing the piano. It was the only source of entertainment for me. During the Taliban in the 90s, there was a mass search and destroy operation of all music instruments. Well, we have sources that the uh, Taliban search house to house to find and destroy all music instruments. How did Medina manage to still keep the piano safe? Her family managed to uh, transport the piano in an underground bunker, but uh, in 1997, the Taliban got the news about the location of the piano and brought it out in an intersection in front of a crowd and destroyed it. So the last grand piano of Afghanistan was persecuted and destroyed like it was a human being. Wow. 
Yes. I got the news days later and uh, I felt like the last symbol of artistic expression was destroyed. We have to understand that music in, in uh, general or any other form of artistic expression is the antidote of extremism. I was worried for Medina's safety more than, than, than anything else, of course. And what happened to Medina? Medina was arrested and imprisoned, waiting for her trial for harboring a piano. But I got in touch with a few old friends and sent some money to buy her freedom. Wow, how is Medina now and where is she? Medina received a scholarship for our assistance, well, with our assistance in Venice and she resides not too far away from where I teach. She's hoping to return and teach piano in Afghanistan when it's stable again. Well, we're glad to hear that. Thank you for sharing your inspiring story with us today, Professor Mohammed Omar. And give our regards to Medina. Thank you for inviting me. It was great talking to you. Thank you. Thanks to our listeners. We will see you next time.